I'm gonna say this about a bubble game so far. If all these games are gonna be this close, man, sign me up for this more, man. I just finished watching my Rockets play the Mavs in an absolute shootout. You know, defense was optional, of course. 153, 149. Mavs had like 80 in the first half, which is ridiculous. Um, getting into paint was was at a premium here. It was so easy to get into the paint, both sides. Uh, Dallas, they started to go through KP early on in the game. And I think a big reason why they lost is because they kind of went away from that in the second half. And settled with three ball. And speaking of three ball, man, oh my goodness. Trey Burke, man, are you kidding me? Like, he hasn't been relevant since 2013 in college. <laughs> and he wants to show up scoring 31 points, hitting like eight threes. He went like six of six or seven of seven at one point. And yeah, that brings me to my next thing. The Rockets perimeter defense, man. It just bothers me so much. It's either someone's wide open or we allow someone into the paint with, with ease, man. Um, there's a lot of times where Harden and Westbrook were, let, were just letting guys bow, bow by him. And I was, I was counting it like multiple times in a row, Harden was letting Luka go right by him with quick ease. Obviously, Luka's not fast, right? But he got, he got by Harden with quick ease. Westbrook let a, a, guy, a few guys get by him. Uh, Westbrook's off-ball defense um, never really was good, to be honest with you. Uh, me being a Westbrook fan, I know um, his off-ball defense is, is pretty bad, um, in my opinion. But And another thing is like the fouls, man. The fouls were ridiculous in this game. Like Both teams were in a bonus like quickly in each quarter, man. Like Rocco, Rocco fouls a lot, man. And like, I mean, speaking of Rocco, he saved the game for us. But Rocco, you foul a lot, man. You need to chill out with that. He's, he swipes the ball. He swipes, tries to swipe at the ball too much. And it doesn't really work out for him. But I don't know, Rocco did end up hitting the um, the game time shot after Harden missed the free throws. Harden on the offensive end, you know, clockwork, man. This is everyday stuff, man. 49 points, shoot hella free throws makes hell of threes and i didn't really see the step back too much today from harden um that's one surprising thing he was driving he was driving quite a bit um he got it early he got it going early in the first half in the first quarter i believe um scoring 23 in the first quarter um and then the second quarter they kind of trapped him a little bit and the rockets at first weren't really adapting to it um like they were supposed to but um as the game went on like they figured it out uh, put Russ as the next guy over so I mean as soon as you leave as soon as that guy leaves Russ like Russ is wide open um, for a layup or uh, a driving kick and I mean I'm expecting to see that by other teams too as Harden gets going in early on in games um, for teams to just double him and force Westbrook to beat him and I would just like to see some of that stuff um, cleaned up on the boards but um, like expected, KP was going to destroy us, 39-16, and 16. like, okay, we're expecting that, we're expecting them to out-rebound us as well, but we could have did a better job on the perimeter, um, making it at least a little bit easier for us defensively, but yeah, all along, the defense still concerns me, and it's still it's still my problem about the Rockets, there's still, still so many holes on the defensive end, man, and once we start playing this upper echelon teams that have more experience, unlike the Dallas Mavericks have, Lakers, Clippers, you know what I mean? Even Denver to some degree. Um, these teams are going to just absolutely expose us, man. Absolutely expose us. And it's just going to have to be up to our offense to outscore everyone, as y'all saw tonight. Like, we had to score 153 points, right? And I know that's what the Rockets kind of want to do. They do want to outscore you. But, I mean, you got to make it at least easier on your offense, right, by getting some stops. One thing I wanted to leave off with was... If Harden can play like how he's been playing, if Harden can be really consistent, efficient, and he's hitting a lot of free throws, man, that is so tough, man, because Harden obviously is great at all three of those things, but on a night-to-night -night basis, he's not good at all three, if that makes sense. Like, one night, he'll shoot like 18 free throws and not shoot the ball particularly well from the field, you know? Or he'll go 10 of 18 from the field but he will only go to the free throw line three times, you know? But now we're seeing that, that both be astronomically high, you know what I mean? Harden shot, I believe, 18 free throws tonight. And, you know, he shot pretty efficient from the field. So if Harden can be efficient, consistent from the field, and going to the free throw line frequently, man, it's just going to be tough to be the Rockets, man. But um, 
most likely teams will come up with something for James Harden in the playoffs. Uh, Kate Harden hasn't really shown the consistency part in the playoffs. Um, that's why he doesn't have a ring right now. So, in my opinion, so um, I'll yeah I'll leave it at that, man. Rockets basketball is back. We got the Bucks on Sunday. Oh my goodness, let's get ready for that. Um, Harden versus Giannis. That's gonna be a spectacular game. I already know. Other than that, man, that's all I got for y'all for this little recap. Um, let me know if y'all like these. If I should do more of these, I might not do it on every Rockets game, but. A lot of Rockets games I might, and in the playoffs, I might do them every single game. But um, just let me know your thoughts, man. But this is Jimmy from Just The Facts, and I'm signing out. Peace.